friends. It is the 2nd of June and I know I posted a huge haul already today but um, when um, dear hubby woke up he said you want to go yard sailing? I'm like yeah. So I'm going to be operating on the floor this morning because or this afternoon because all the stuff that I showed you this morning is still all over the dining room table. So let's get started. Um, we didn't do too much. I'm still recovering from holidays. Uh, I found this in the car, so I didn't get this set of bowls today. I got it at the Salvation Army <sighs> on the 22nd of May, and I paid $6 for this full set. It's in really, really good shape. And is this orchard? Some harvest, some I can't remember the name of the pattern. Anyway, it's got all three there, and for six dollars, I thought that was a really good deal. Um, I got this Christmas tree today. Oh, and I don't know about where you live, but where I live, these go for big money. Um, here's the... <laughs> Don't worry, that was corningware. Um, I got... It doesn't have any bulbs. There's the piece of it. And I'm not even sure if you can get bulbs anymore. Um, I hope you can. So I paid five dollars for this. But I bet you I could resell it once the bulbs were uh, replaced. I bet I could sell it for about 80. Um, it's a good size. It's in good shape. This is the only little chip that I've found. But you know, once a bulb is in there, it's going to be just fine. Um, and it's it's a big size. Now, while we've got that there to compare sizes to. see if this will work. Nope. I'll have to bring it forward. I got this uh, milk glass vase. It's got a um, hobnail bottom and it's not marked. Uh, they, asked, they were asking five dollars for it. I paid four and it's got sort of this irregular edge um, and it's huge it's taller than that tree um, I'm betting it's 24 inches 26 inches tall maybe um, I've never seen anything quite like that so for four dollars what the heck okay the corning that I was smashing was this um, spring blossom platter Excuse me. Paid a dollar for that, and I also got um, these little Santas. I've got others like this. They're really light plastic. They're made in Hong Kong. So I think I already have three, so that's another three. <coughs> and I got those the guy just threw in. He said, just take them. And I got this pair of um, Avon Red. Oh my gosh, I always <laughs> Cape Cod <laughs> glass uh, candle holders. They're filthy, dirty, came out of the garage. I um, wonder what this had in it. It had something for bath. So, um, whether it had bath oil or bubble bath, I'm not sure. And with that white vase, I got this bowl. This is a <sighs> it'll come to me in the middle of the night and I'll remember what it's called. Anyway. Alright, sorry for that brief pause. Uh, 
my husband needed attention. Anyway, um, so this bowl has a flat side and it's supposed to st stand up. I just wonder if maybe... I've had one of these before and uh, I paid two dollars for it. Um, I think I can definitely resell it and make a nice profit on that. I got these two older bowls. Um, so there's this one with the blue stripe and there's this one with um, this design and a brown stripe. This one is marked RRP Co. Roseville, Ohio. Huh. Hmm. I didn't notice that. Is this one marked? This one's not marked. Um, I think I paid five dollars for those two. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. All right. Um, the heck's this? Oh, it's bread. Got some bread. <laughs> I got um, some good housekeeping magazines. They're 2017, 2018 issues. Um, so I got those magazines. These tiny little cats not marked I don't know what they are but there's the mama cat and there's baby cats and I got this pair of salt and pepper shakers that look like shells um, and they are made in Japan from mummy Something, Brenda. I'm not sure. It's it's something's written on it anyway. So there's a salt and pepper set that I got. They're in really really good shape, and they've got the the stoppers. Isn't that something? And I got these two Starbucks mugs, Christmas Starbucks mugs from 2012. Uh, so for all of that, I paid five dollars. This box of stuff. The guy gave to me for a dollar. So there's scouring pads and some rubber gloves and more cleaning stuff. These are window wipes, but it's, they're open and dry, so that's garbage. Um, these are dry, multi purpose cloths. A little dustpan and broom there. Some kind of bags. Oh yeah, they're a good size for a kitchen. Um, duster, cloths, some other sponges. So, there's another pair of, oh, perfect housewife. Um, so, there's stuff in there that I will use for sure. Um, yeah, um, with my painting or stuff. Yeah, I'll certainly, certainly use this stuff. What's this? Oh, these are curtain hooks. Hmm. Sassy diaper sacks. Cool. I didn't even look. I just I just saw the sponges and I said, what do you want for the sponges? He said, take the box for a dollar. All right. And perhaps you noticed my Nancy's yard sale pail. I made this because uh, this is handy to have in the car. <laughs> I put my name on it. Um, okay, what do we got in here? 
Oh, I got this cute little plastic basket for, for 10 cents. It's not marked, but it's that hard plastic, so it's vintage. Um, I have no idea what I'll do with it, but it was too cute to leave behind. Um, I got this bag of stuff. What I wanted out of here was the, um, the punch and the buttons. And the lady said, oh, take the whole bag. And she, I don't think she charged me for them. I think she threw them in with those two um, stoneware bowls. So I don't even know if the punch works. But for free, what do you want? But I thought these buttons were really cute. There's quite a, quite a number in there. Um, there's a red one. There's a, they're mostly black and white, and they've got uh, words printed on them. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. So I I have no use for them, but uh, what the heck, eh? Put in my, there's also some. Um, Paper reinforcements, some tacks. Um, what are these? Paper clips. This is one of those old fashioned uh, bulldog clip like things. And these tacks, some of these tacks that look vintage too. The ones with the flowers on them. But I think all of that will be donated somewhere, except I'm going to keep the paper punch, if it works. And I'm going to keep the buttons. This picture frame. I love these old picture frames. And I, when I see them and they're in good shape, I grab them. I paid a dollar for this one. And at the same sale, I got this... Wait a second, I better take these plates out. So I got these five plates for 10 cents. And I so I said, is that 10 cents a piece? And she said, no, take the whole stack for 10 cents. So each plate cost me two pennies. Um, the first two are Canadian. Here comes the cat. And they have sort of these wheat bundles around the edge. None of them are in particularly good order. Um, they're all stained. But I thought that was um, okay. This one is sort of nice. It's got uh, lilies of the valley. And these are all like a, a lunch size plate. They're, they're not big. Um, and this one is uh, Wedgwood. So I paid two cents for a piece of Wedgwood. Okay, this one is also Wedgwood, uh, and it, or no, no, this is the Canadian one as, all, as well, but it's uh, kind of this beige color rather than the white color, and this one is also the same, but it's, it's really badly stained too. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those, but for a dime, what do you want? Um, yeah, so I think that uh, some of these will go well with my um, stoneware, my iron stone that I already have, and I know some people do like the stained dishes. We'll sit on that for a while. Anyway, I got this tablecloth, this Christmas tablecloth. It's, you know, sort of traditional, but it's got a lot of stains on it. Um, so I asked the lady if she would take 50 cents for it and that I would try to work out some of these stains. Um, so a little bit of elbow grease, 50 cents. We'll see if it was worth that. Um, but otherwise, it's in good shape. There's no holes or burns or um, 
loose hems or anything. It's just stained. What's this? Oh, I uh, got these uh, emery boards for a quarter. Got this uh, salt shaker for a quarter. Did I not get a pepper shaker two weeks ago? I think I did. And I said someday I would find the salt shaker. I'll have to check. Maybe it was something else. Um, and I got this bottle. I think somebody has glued the ribbon on that says dream. I think the, the bottle is um, I don't know, some kind of perfume. Um, it's got a measurement on it, but it doesn't have a name. So yeah, this is this is gonna come right off. So I'll have to get some goo gone out or something. So this is just yeah, somebody's put that on there to decorate. Anyway, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, you'll let me know, right? Um and the rubber stopper doesn't want to seem to go in. I might have to take that rubber stopper off. Anyway, I thought it was really pretty and what did I pay for it? Did I pay a quarter? I think I paid a quarter for it. And that's it. I just have my baby wipes in here that I like to have on hand so I can wipe some of the dirt off between, between houses. Okay, so that's uh, my thrift haul for this afternoon. And um, I got some work to do, so I will get to it. I hope you're having a great day and that you had a great morning thrifting as well. Take care. Bye.